I've had some requests to show how I built my electric bike e recumbent bicycle. So here's a video explaining basically what I did. The motor is from a Curry E-Zip mountain bike and it's 450 watts but only runs on 24 volts. Here you can see the chain drive from the motor to a left hand freewheel and that is the stock hub from the Curry E-Zip but laced to the 20 inch rim of the bike E. You'll need to get the smallest left hand freewheel you can get because if you use the stock freewheel off the mountain bike, the 26 inch mountain bike, you'll only go about 10 miles an hour. As it is, this will only propel you about 16 miles an hour. The two 12 volt batteries sit on a 3D printed frame which is attached to the rear frame of the bike E. And I made this reflector housing and top deck to match and they make it look a little futuristic I think. If you look in through here, you might be able to see the, the 3D printed strap that holds the batteries in place. The right side shifter from the bike E was moved over to the left side, so you're, you still have your seven speeds. And this is the stock Curry mountain bicycle throttle. I've added a voltmeter and a speedometer and of course some mirrors. Can't get by without the mirrors. I've removed the chain guard from the the chain ring so I could add a, a larger chain ring to it. I believe that was a 58 tooth. That way I don't have to pedal so hard to put a little bit of effort in it. I don't have to pedal so fast. So that's a quick description of how to build an e-bike out of a bike e-recumbent. I hope this helps. If I were to do it all over again, I would probably just get a hub motor for the rear wheel. I think that would be a whole lot easier. But this is nice because when you're not using the motor and just pedaling, there's no drag at all from the motor because of the free wheel. So thanks for watching. Bye now.